So I am going to show you how to find the jugular vein for an injection or to draw blood. And this is Kelty, she'll be helping me. So the first thing you're going to do is say that you're going for the jugular vein. So now I'm going to demonstrate the proper restraint for a jugular stick as with the stuffed animal. So you're going to leave them in sternal recumbency, which is where their sternum or breastbone is touching the table. And you're supposed to have their paws over the edge of the table. This is really too wide of a table. You have their front paws over the edge of the table, and then you would lift their head and hold it against yourself. And that way the veterinarian can get to their jugular vein. You're going to reach over the animal, as I am. You're going to extend the neck upwards and point the head away from yourself. So if they did bite, they weren't looking or weren't biting at your face. Once you have that done, their legs are going to be over the edge of the table, which Kelty's being very cooperative right now, so we're not going to do that. And then put your fingers at the thoracic inlet, and then push in and up, and you should start to see the jugular vein pop up. And in a veterinary clinic, you'd have their neck shaved, so it would be a lot easier to see. And that's how you get the jugular vein.